Hey guys, iOS 10.3 Beta 3 is here, and some part of me is still holding out, hoping that Apple will release a dark mode with it. Unfortunately, this time around, that's not the case. But there are still plenty of changes and fixes. I found 10. Actually, Apple has been on a bug killing spree. There are so many fun uh, bugs that I've showed you before that have been patched. It's like Apple is sucking all of the fun out of iOS. Uh, and I know for a fact, Apple, you watch my videos, you get your ideas of what to fix from them because some of the things that I talk about are not shared anywhere else online. So I'm on to you. You guys are following me, all right? <laughs> Anyways, so... Uh, I just wanted to show you the power of the Apple file system. So before updating, this was on 10.1.1. In case you guys didn't know, Apple file system is a completely rewritten uh, way to store files with iOS 10.3. Before I had about 89.11 gigabytes after updating 94.16. That's a five gigabyte improvement just by updating my firmware, not changing a single different thing. So uh, when you guys do update to 10.3, you guys will notice a huge improvement in storage. So let's get into these changes, fixes, and features. Now, if you guys will open up an app that is unsupported on iOS 10 that hasn't been updated for 64-bit devices, you guys will get, of course, this notification right here. So this isn't anything new. It came on the first beta 3, but now you can actually click on learn more, and this is where it will take you. So basically, there's a new section in settings in about for applications. So you can click on them in here and in here you will see applications that are not currently updated for uh, your OS. So this is pretty much the wall of shame as put by one Twitter user. All right, so jumping into the touch ID and passcode settings, a very small uh, tweak to the interface here. Actually entering your passcode or changing or doing whatever, it's changed from dashes to little circles. So they now fill in instead of the dashes going to the circle. Kind of an interesting but small change. And a very interesting one as well. So if you guys have a CarPlay enabled device in uh, the about settings, there's also a new section to go ahead and enter into your actual uh, unit. So in this case, this guy had a Honda. I don't have a CarPlay enabled device, so I can't show you, but you're now able to see hardware and software information of your CarPlay enabled device. So if there are any updates, you'll be able to see them in here and the such. Apple has fixed that black screen when launching the settings app. Now when you launch it, it's now white as it should be. So you guys remember the freeze crash bug that I had a couple of videos on. Well, in beta two, it was sort of still working. Now, check this out. It has been completely fixed. So I'm gonna send it over. Notice how the device on the right temporarily freezes. The one on the left now in beta three does not. So Apple is really taking this seriously. They noticed in my last video that it still kind of works and it is completely patched. And even the more dangerous version, I was actually kind of surprised. It still freezes beta two but uh, beta 3 you can completely interact with it without any delay whatsoever and watch this guys so i actually went all the way back and found the contact file the malicious one with the rainbow bug emoji and i'm gonna send it so notice how it still freezes 10.3 beta 3. i was kind of surprised to find that it's momentary but it does freeze for a couple seconds. Now, mark my words, beta four, this will be fixed. This will no longer be an issue because Apple's watching this video uh, as we speak. Uh, so it's actually kind of funny. Apple completely, whoa. Whoa, did it actually freeze? But when you actually jump into the messages app and go into that thread, you can look at it, but if you try and click on it, your messages app does freeze or it did before. Yeah, there we go. So if you actually open it, it freezes and you have to restart it and so on. You guys remember this bug, right? I showed it to you in my last video, the notification respring bug. So click here and then click cancel and it respring's. Now in beta three, Apple is onto us, onto me and fix that. So if you slide up, you can no longer click on the spotlight search bar or the little uh, voice icon over here. That's gone. The dock bug I showed you guys in beta two is working perfectly. And in beta three, unfortunately, Apple has patched it. So Look at this, you slide over and it disappears for a second, but then comes right back. I'm really sad to see this one go. On the iPhone 5S, the no animations bug that I showed you before has been fixed. So on the 5 and 5S, you are no longer able to glitch uh, using the wallpaper to get the no animation bug. Now, Apple has ruined the fun and taken that away from 5 and 5S users. And in general, if you guys install beta three right now, a lot of people have confirmed that the speed improvements are impressively noticeable. So exiting 
navigating apps, jumping into the app switcher. This is on a 5S and it feels so amazingly fast. So let me know if that is indeed a change, but it seems to be online the consensus is beta 3 does improve the speed by a wide margin. In the initial setup, Apple has changed or made one fix. So you would get a prompt to allow iCloud analytics, even though you didn't sign in with iCloud. Now you have to sign in with iCloud to get that prompt. And a lot of people were getting an error with iCloud that said some files were unavailable during the last backup. So this would happen overnight while it would auto backup that has since been fixed. And if you guys use a lightning video adapter for your device, the support for it has been added as it was previously unavailable in the last beta. And the last bug Apple patched that I was kind of mystified about how or why they would do it. Usually they don't patch these kind of things. Uh, they must have watched my prank video, but you remember the text that we would paste in the folders that made folders completely unopenable. They would just freeze your device on contact, kind of a simple little prank. Well, they actually patched that. The same text copied from this folder onto this one right here immediately opens. So I was kind of mystified. I mean, it works perfectly now. Why? I mean, why is this something they focused on? But all right, that one was patched as well. But anyways, guys, there it is. That is iOS 10.3 uh, beta 3. I'm sad to see a lot of the fun bugs that I was using have been patched. So Apple, I know you're watching these. I know you're fixing these bugs. Why? Why has this still not been fixed? The uh, lightning or the lighting shutter issue going from light to dark, that stutter, please. Screw all the other things that you guys have been patching. Patch this. I'm telling you guys this, please. Begging you. Anyways, uh, so that hasn't been fixed in this latest beta. And the last thing being the Geekbench. Beta 3 seems to have a little bit higher multi, slightly lower single, but pretty much the same results here. Overall, performance is in the animations where most people are saying they feel it. Anyways, guys, just wanted to say thanks for watching. And that's just about it for iOS 10.3 beta 3. I'll have more videos for you soon. Peace.